hello good morning um it's friday y'all it's 10 o'clock in the morning i am getting ready to head out y'all i'm off of work i asked off um of work because i could feel myself kind of getting burnt out um and i just really either want to quit or call out so i'm going to go get my tag renewed and i'm also going to go see my friend taking my ipad with me this is like y'all this i was playing with this this is so like so convenient because i really want to take my laptop with me but i don't have to i can take my ipad and it kind of fits in my bag kind of it's okay but I, and i also got my book i don't know if i'm going to read my book today but when i go see my friend she gonna be doing my hair i asked her to do my hair when i realized i'm gonna be off i was like they approved my time off it takes i had to approve this time off over a month ago like because i was just like i just need to be off I, I just need to be off whatever but i literally woke up got in the shower that looks so much better y'all um woke up got in the shower washed my hair because she's doing my hair and um blow dry my hair i've been watching some self-care videos because i've been thinking about taking my self-care and mental health more seriously um not really just the like you know hey you need to get out of the funk type thing but more so a really making a self-care plan taking time for self-care and self-care which i know it's not just you know going shopping and getting your nails done and just getting massages and facials and so on. it's not just that that's cool and all but it's also very expensive um but actually just taking some time to reflect think about things make solutions focus on self i feel like i'm always worried and focusing on myself but it's not like like it's kind of like surface if that makes sense i'm trying to go deeper into some of these things that i continue to slip up on as a person that is in the social work field I feel like I need to take care of myself because how can I take care of clients and people around me and things like that and how can I do my best quality work at anything if I'm not at my best quality and I feel like a lot of different things come into play such as laziness and just not being motivated and that also is probably a more self-sabotage form of um things i saw a tiktok of this girl um and she was saying the reason that we're not you know like um consistent we're not motivated da 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 different little things is because um we don't believe in ourselves and i'm just like why I was like, for, you know of course a lot of things on tiktok is people's opinion um and she said you know we're overthinking it you know what if there is something god has us need, needs us to do and we're just looking at it as this big picture yes the big picture but why can't we just focus on what we have right now and how we can use our current to to level up to the next thing that God has for us, you know, and things like that. And so I was like, wait, that makes a lot of sense because I'm like, I don't, I, I give up so quickly on anything, not, I'm not saying anything, but I give up so quickly, um, when i feel like i'm not my best in the perfectionism which i just kind of discovered that i'm a bit of a perfectionist but being a perfectionist is not exactly a compliment um now let me just i'm, I'm gonna try to make this brief because i do need to leave but a therapist that sent me some things 
um, about perfectionism because what she described, she's like, that's perfect per perfectionism, and I'm just like, but I'm a, I'm a messy person. Like my surroundings are messy. Everything is chaotic. How can I be a perfectionist? And it's not exactly being um like actually neat and tidy. It's just your mindset when it comes to things like if something is not exactly right i'm sorry y'all i'm trying to get it um something is not exactly right it's it's like an extreme way of thinking so if i mess up on something at work which just happens a lot if i mess up on something at work um and i'll go ahead and, and i'll try to have this information in my description box below um if i mess up on something at work it hurts me to my core um, because it's just something it's just like <laughs> it's like I know I could do better I don't want to be seen as someone that not knows that doesn't know what they're doing um, just a quick run through um, perfectionism um, believes that everything must be perfect all the time another thing that I noticed was this thing where it says spends excessive time on trivial problems I promise you, I feel like this is me <laughs> to a T because some stuff is not important to other people. I was setting up an appointment for someone and I made a mistake and uh, someone got the spot before I could get to the spot and I was trying to help him find a spot when I could have just told him we don't have anything available for that time. Um, <laughs> but instead of me like trying to make sure that he's happy, people pleasing, that he's happy that there's this freaking I'm gonna actually fall actually when I leave today um uh, like the people pleasing like I didn't want him to be upset but also my perfectionism is driven by people pleasing so I wanted to make sure he was happy but there was no way I can ac really accommodate him for the time that he was wanting and I needed to just accept that fact but because I want to make sure it's right that little thing oh I'm so sorry let me just fix this you know let me try to do this I'm so and I obsess over it and the poor man is like you know what I'll, I could just call back it's okay and he's like no you're fine thanks for your, your your help and to me like that hurt my feelings because I couldn't do the thing for him not saying that he was upset he wasn't upset he was actually quite pleasant um on the phone but it was just the fact that I obsessed over that that little thing like I fixated on that little thing about getting him that on that calendar and instead of just saying well this is not available I don't know it's that may not exactly be the best example but I under, definitely understand about fixating on small little problems and making it bigger a bigger issue so now that I know that perfectionism is something that I that like I have a name for what it is I can kind of learn how to find ways to pinpoint it I'll put this down in the description box so this is not just you know I think this is something that um you know everyone can take some time out to look at I'm learning a lot especially through therapy through better help and I encourage everyone this is of course it's not sponsored because I'm not like really big enough to be sponsored by anybody but I do get a free session if you sign up with my link and you can get a free session so me and you both get a free session um and and I really you know think that better help it's not I'm not saying it's like the best thing in the world but um this snack got to go this snack has to go but it um is i need to hurry up and wrap this part up um but it is a um a good resource for people who cannot get to find counselors that they are comfortable with like i know that i wanted an african-american christian female counselor and locally first of all locally i know almost all the counselors that are black female christian in my area um and i do want to do in person but i don't care i'm not i'm a homebody i really don't care if i go in person or not um and then i also wanted something that covers my insurance which there wasn't a lot so i just resulted into better help because especially like because my insurance plan very expensive just for standard things so i was like i'm better off coming out of pocket using better help but um better help is 
what I use for therapy and it's very helpful and I don't think a lot of people say that they have bad experiences I don't really know why when you can change their provider um and better help is pretty responsive when you message them about things and they can uh they I don't know I don't know I never had a bad experience with them but um I do encourage people to at least try therapy one time um and it has definitely helped me um, just put things in perspective. I even had a friend that told me that she was like, you can tell that it's working and that um, you can just tell the difference. And I'm just like, baby, that ain't just therapy. That's Jesus too, girl, because Jesus has definitely made a big difference in my life. But upcoming on my channel, um, I do want to take time to um, to really dive deep into the self-care aspect and the mental health aspects of things. I don't want it to be a consumption of my channel, but it's just going to be parts of what I talk about. Like I already talk about being like uh, middle, my mental health, my personal mental health and being vulnerable on my channel. Now it's time to really take control of my own actions. Just being more intentional, like using my time wisely, like writing my affirmations, looking at my affirmations and saying, you know, you know, God, like. I don't want to I don't want to like just be in a negative state all the time so that is what I want to do um so so yeah that is all for this portion of the video I didn't expect it to be this long but I did want to just sit down and just like kind of like pour out like a little bit of what I'm thinking about adding to my channel so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for <laughs> the rest of my day I cannot fit my iPad in my purse which I really want to do that I want a bigger purse where I can do that I might actually grab my other bag so literally been gone for a very long time i'm so sorry um i put in a few clips of my, me getting my hair done Just got in front of me and just decided to go 
slow and I'm like I'm not going fast but I'm not trying to go faster than what I am I'm just trying to get be comfortable and drive and then this fool behind me trying to get up in I'm just like I'm not trying to go past 65 and then this fool behind me